Well, you haven't heard about all my amazing contribution to KDE Plasma in a while. So, well, I have indeed done some stuff. Firstly, I'm proud to announce that the redesign of the panel settings is complete and has landed. It will be in Plasma 6. You can see here how it looks. So the design didn't change much compared to last time we heard about it, though I did have to implement a couple of new panel sizing modes. So basically, there's now three possible options for the panel length if you have an horizontal panel. The first one is fill available space and it will make sure that a panel always fills the whole horizontal or vertical space it has. This is pretty much regardless of where you move it and it cannot break which is super nice because previously there was some bugs that incorrectly resized the panel when you moved it around. Then there is fit content which will make your panel act more like a dock so it will simply it will simply take the same size as the stuff that's inside of it now I thought this was like pretty simple so I just implemented it and merged however however users are smart and they're able to find all the use cases that you simply had forgotten about so in this case somebody reported that if you took an empty panel with nothing inside of it and set the size to fit content then the panel would literally collapse into nothing and crash Plasma Shell forever. You cannot even log back into Plasma Shell to change the option, just simply refuses to start. I didn't think about it. So I added a quick check to make sure that the panel never crashes because of this fit content thingy, but I also decided to add a default button to all empty panels that simply says add widgets. This way they're never actually empty. That would be awkward otherwise. Then you have custom, which brings back the good old uh, thing is that you have to drag around in some weird ways to resize the panel. Again, I accidentally introduced a bug with this refactor. Whenever you changed the side of the screen the panel is on, from top to bottom to top and so on, the ruler would become uh, thicker and it would be like this, then like this, and then like this, and then it, it would grow using the Fibonacci sequence, which is pretty fast, and it will quickly cover your entire monitor. Turns out I had kind of messed up its anchoring aspect. Uh, I'm not sure how exactly, but anyway, I fixed it and that's it. I'm also happy to say I brought back a panel visibility option called Windows Go Below that was actually Actually, amazingly simple because all I had to do was to say when this option is turned on just behave normally except you should not reserve any space on the side of the screen. This means that the windows will take the whole screen, they don't even know there's a panel over there, they'll just be drawn underneath it. I'm even happier to say that I helped another developer to implement a new panel visibility option which is called Dodge Windows. This one was very easy to implement as well, we simply had to say hey, if there's any window nearby, then you should just start hiding, and that was it. By the way, it looks friggin' awesome, so I can't wait for all of you to try it in, in Plasma 6, I'm just using it in my daily routine now. Then I've spent a lot of time, and believe me, it was a lot of time, managing the wallpaper competition. We received more than 250 entries, which is pretty amazing, but it did mean that we judges had to go through all 250 wallpapers and write down our favorites, eliminate the bad ones, vote on them, and so on. Just downloading them took hours and hours and hours, even with the help of another judge. That said, after two weeks worth of work, we now have the finalists for the competition. There's Waves, there's Star Case, there's X Word, there's Harmony, there's Flow, and then there's Sun Comet. I feel like the selection is particularly high quality, and I would love to know which ones you think would be a better fit for KD Plasma as default wallpapers. I do have my favorite pick, but uh, I won't say. Then I actually spent a lot of time trying to implement new Plasma 6 options that 
probably won't make it into Plasma 6. So basically, we would like the header area of Windows to be slightly tinted with the accent color. This is slightly awkward because there are currently two options that are similar but different. So we can use the accent color for the header area, which is a bit too strong, or we can tint using the accent color, but everything, not just the header area. So we somehow need to merge the two things together to create the option that we're actually wanted to ship for Plasma 6. Anyhow, I've basically implemented that, except I'm just unable to add the option to the settings page. This almost sounds like a joke, but that page is written as a .ui file, which is, I learned, one terrifying type of file to work with. Nothing ever works and you never know why. I just hate .ui files. It would be probably easier to just port away from .ui to .qml. So um, yeah, I wasted quite a bit of time on that. <laughs> Then I found a pretty funny bug. So basically, you know how you can right click a panel widgets to look to all of their alternatives? Well, if you installed a widget from the store, regardless, uh, it's getting dark in here, regardless of the kind of widget you just install, it would appear as an alternative of everything. Clock alternatives, that widget. App launcher alternatives, still that widget. This seemed very weird until I discovered that the way this works is that alternatives simply say, hey, give me the list of all applets, but filter out the ones that aren't related. However, this filtering code was recently changed. Now, we have Plasma 6 widgets, which are new and cooler, and then Plasma 5 widgets, which are older. <laughs> so the code now said, hey, take all the Plasma 6 widgets, filter them out and take the good ones, then take the Plasma 5 widgets, end of sentence. Apparently somebody simply forgot to filter out the Plasma 5 widgets, that was pretty much it. So the idea was to put Plasma 6 widgets first and then Plasma 5 ones, but Plasma 5 ones simply weren't filtered out. So any widgets installed from the store, which still has Plasma 5 applets, would simply be an alternative of everything because never gets filtered out. Finally, I've done a lot more bug fixing, like a lot of it. I fixed floating applets having a weird line on the bottom. I fixed the awkward empty space in the panel. I fixed applets not floating when the floating panel is turned on. I fixed the exit edit mode button not exiting edit mode. I fixed some widgets having incorrect colors in their preview on the sidebar. I even fixed the task manager omitting part of the project name in PyCharm and even more fixes for the overview. And to be fully honest, that's still my plan. Like I am going to bug fix, bug fix, bug fix. The feature freeze has happened, meaning that unless exceptions are made, we cannot add any more features to KD Plasma 6. We now have three months roughly, a bit less, to make sure everything is nice and stable. And you know what? That's my plan. Now, before I leave you, I do want to say that this video isn't sponsored as you could have guessed from the absence of any sponsor, so nobody pays for it except you. So it actually took some time to write and record. This is an easier video that I did more for fun. So I just wanted to tell you what I was working on, but still it's I have to pay the editor to edit this and then I have to spend time doing the cover and then I actually, you know, it takes time and this is a simple video. Sometimes I have to go ahead and make like 30, 40 minutes videos long about uh, European Union legislation and how it affects the free and open source software world that takes hours and hours and hours. So I do have a monthly goal to support, well, my work and the work of people who collaborate with me, such as the editor, and it's 1,000 euros every month. If we could hit that, I would be super happy. We're currently getting cl closer, closer, which is great. So if you have something to donate, that's awesome. I recently published a very long blog post about what I do only to the patrons who donate, so you can know more about me and this sort of stuff. So I think I said everything I had to say, and um, I, I don't know, see ya. <laughs> I hope this was useful. <laughs>